M0FXB. Happy Christmas. So we've got the version 3 Quashang UVK59. You can't physically tell the difference when you look at it until you take the back off and then you can see it. And then we're going to go through the description here. And they're actually selling at quite a good price at the moment because when I tried to get mine, it was over £30. But now they're only 20 odd. So it says here on the back, hopefully the camera will zoom. It actually says at the end of the barcode, you can just about see it. It's blurry, but it actually says version three. And it tries to focus. Sometimes it's actually on the on the case. To look at it, you'd never know the difference. Now, there is custom firmware on it for it. F4HWN has made it, but you really got to look out for the thing where it says version three. Because you don't want to load version three software. Uh, onto onto a version two radio. Now, one of the nice things that uh, RML has done is you can actually view this whole screen once you've updated the firmware on your PC, but you can do it with older models as well, mind. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the specs of version three UVK5 K6, you know, and these are probably the most popular ones with the metal case orange screen. And they just work well on the air band. I just listened to the air band on it. Sounded better than usual to me, actually sounded better. Yeah, um, so I'll leave it there turned on and see if uh, a, a plane flies over. It only goes down to 18 megahertz, but it goes up to, uh, we'll look here now, but it goes up high uh, VHF, UHF, six meters, uh, I think four meters, all that kind of stuff. It will do broadcast radio, NOAA weather channels. And once you start adding firmware, you've got a band scope. There's airband. I don't know if you'll hear this because it's a, I use a different microphone, but it just came through then and it was clear. So let's scroll down. So frequency meter type C charging in the side just here. And hmm, I don't think it's type C programming. Let me test. I, I don't think so. But you never know. Well, that's interesting. It actually is. And I, I'm 99% sure you cannot, you have to have a, a UV5R cable to program this. So I'll do some videos, but if I unplug the cable, and you need a data cable, not one of these cheap ones. If I unplug, you'll see that the comm vanishes. Yeah, it did. Wow. I like that. I'll tell you why, because when you're programming, and when I'm doing, I'm not sure, I'm going to try it with this new firmware from RML to see if we can view the screen on the PC of this and listen at the same time, because I think that's a biggie. You know, being able to program this and still hear it makes the whole experience better. Um, so we're definitely going to be doing videos on that. But yes, it is working as a COM port. And so this is a really good reason to get yourself uh, the version three, probably the number one reason, I would say, in my opinion. But there are more benefits. So let's have a look. AM aviation, which is in, I feel has definitely been improved. And I'll do, I'm definitely going to do videos on that. U UV multi-stage transmission and reception. Uh, we NOAA weather, private intercom, SOS emergency, crossband intercom. Crossband, hmm. Okay, we've got a lot of testing to do here, haven't we? Uh, wireless frequency replication, frogging tail and LCD display. Uh, so UHF, VHF, AM airband, let's move me just over a bit. And broadcast radio, aviation, fast copy. So you put them next to each other and they'll they'll pick up the frequency and that actually works. NOAA weather, which is a USA thing. Uh, voice interruption feature. Normally, is that busy lockout? I think that just means if you're speak, if you're already speaking, it won't let you PTT, but it's got it there. Dual charging method, type C charging and desktop charger. Now I'm surprised that they haven't realized that the fact that there's a COM port um, with the C is a big selling point. So uh, a big, appeal of that radio so I'll, I'll definitely tell them that because um i did actually email them and say you're selling version threes without telling people that version three is a is a is, is version three they're just selling them like all the rest but it, if it does more then us the buyers would rather know it's version three because because i'm not trying to be their partner but what i'm trying to say to them is that if i'm about to buy a k5 anyway 
I'd rather have the version three, the latest model. So put it on the information because I couldn't see it. And, and about two weeks later, now there's lots of advertising saying version three, which is good, which is good and sensible. So remember, the, these companies in China, they really bend over backwards to look after their customers. They want repeat business. Don't ever think, oh, this, that. I, you see in the comments. We're, we're not all blind to comments when people... Uh, are having difficulties with their radios and then they start lashing out nasty comments. These people are very respectful and they just want to help and then, and then in turn sell more radios and make money so they can feed their families just like we do, you know, we have to make money. Um, but anyway, 50 to 76, 108 to 136, 136 to 173, 174, 349, 350 to 400, 400 to 470 and 470 to 600 megs and it, I'm trying to look for the lowest meg uh, I can't actually see it on there and so I'm blind so I'm just going to type it in so I'm going to go 0 1 8 no so uh, 0 okay so about 120 megs That has gone in, so interesting. Let me just tinker, see how low I can get it. I'm just tinkering now. <laughs> uh, I'm trying out four, four, six. That went in four, six, two. It's going in. Um, what else we got here? So let's try fifty megs. So we have to go at zero five zero. Yes, 70 megs. Yeah, uh, 30 megs. Are you going to say it's there written down? I'm going to, all right, well, this is uh, 30 megs didn't go in. Uh, let's do 40. This is way more fun than reading. No, so 50. Mm, let's try 49. No. No, 45 didn't go. And let's go look back at the what the pamphlet says. Uh, and it's saying 50, yeah. So it is from 50. I believe that some of the older models went down to 18 megahertz. But then again, that maybe they did after, you know, the firmware, the new firmware. I, I think that's probably what it was. So anyway, um, big thanks to Koshang for giving us that USB-C charging. Remember, you need a data cable. Don't use the those one pound, two pound USB-Cs. They're not going to carry data. They're just going to ch carry the five volts. Um, and that's it. There's an extra cable in there that gives you the data. Uh, bye for now. Thanks for watching. Happy Christmas. Seven three.